Okay, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, most gracious. Assalamu alaikum today. Inshallah, I'm going to talking about the consonant in English. Consonant sounds in English. So, as we mentioned before, that we have 44 sounds in English, and we can divide these 44 sounds into two groups. We have 20 sounds, uh, 20 vowel sounds, and 24 or 24 uh, sounds, uh, consonant sounds. So today I'm going to talking about the, we will focus or our topics today is about the consonant sounds. So as, as I have just said, that we have 24 consonant sounds. So if we want to define or give a definition of the consonant sounds that these sounds which are produced with no abstraction of the air fellow and that comes from the lines so with abstraction I'm sorry with abstraction okay with abstraction so uh, if we want to, def uh, to give a difference or between the vowel and the consonants, we will say the abstraction. When we produce the consonants, there is abstraction of the airfellow. While we, uh, when, uh, while we, when we produce um, the the vowel, there is no abstraction. That that why we call the vowel as a continuant. That means we can keep going, produce them as long as we have enough air to do that in the lung so here we can um, we will we will talk in also about the description of the English uh, consonants how can we describe uh, these consonants so we can describe the co these consonant according to this feature we have for example number one the consonants we have the following certain feature According, according to the f voicing, and um, that means uh, if there if there is any vibration through the production of the of the sound. So if we pr uh, if you pronounce the sound and and uh, there is a vibration through the pronunciation of that sound, we will call it a voiced. A voice that means there is a vibration we will pr when we produce that sound uh, if there is no uh, vibration we will um, we will say that sound is voiceless okay so we're talking about this feature today so as I mentioned voicing is all about the classification of speech sounds referring to the auditory result of the vibration of vocal cord sound. Look, focus with this. Um, so focus on these sounds that are produced while the vocal cord are vibrating are called voiced. Okay, voiced that sound uh, through. Uh, its production there is a vibration in vocal cord that's called voice while uh, constant are produced with vibration vocal cords Uh, while uh, the sounds which are produced with no vibration called voiceless. Okay. Um, these are 24 sounds we have here voiceless, voiceless, f, this is f like fan, t, t. Okay, if you concentrate. Uh, on the pronunciation through the pronunciation of these sounds there is no vibration in vocal cord okay you can put your hand on your larynx 
and check that if you say f f there is no vibration but for example when you say v, v, there is a vibration okay so when we have vibration that means we have voice voice consonant sound when we when we haven't um we have in vibration that sound called voiceless that means there is no vibration so here we have the voiceless number one we have f like fun t t p k and that sound called th th like three and s c that sound called sh sh like she and we have ch like chair and we have h h h h okay so um these sounds are called voiceless there is no vibration okay uh, through their production if we move to uh, voice consonant we have here v t d sorry p g and we have number 10 th okay and we have z like zoo and we have j like pleasure we have j like just and l and number 18 and 19 m like n and n n and we have ing like sing and we have so uh r sounds like r and w and the last one uh number 24 which is y y the sound is y not j okay you have to remember always and with that in your brain always that we are dealing with sounds not letter okay we deal with sounds okay not letter that's mean we deal with something you can't hear not written because uh, as you know that english language is not phonetic language that means letter does not represent uh, does not represent its, uh, itself that means uh, it's written in in a way but it's pronounced in other way um, we'll stop here and we'll continue um, to uh, to explain another we will we'll talking about the place of articulation next lecture if God will I hope that will be it will be beneficial for you thank you so much and goodbye